As America's ambassador to the International Atomic Energy Agency in Vienna, Gregory L. Schultz's job is to represent and negotiate the U.S. administration's agenda in countering nuclear proliferation while promoting the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Addressing journalists in London, Mr. Schultz said Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad is faced with diverging paths. There's the path that they're on, the path that was unfortunately laid out and explained by President Ahmadinejad two days ago, the path of defiance, the path of moving forward in violation of Security Council resolutions. We want to demonstrate to them that path leads them further into isolation, further into sanctions. But we also want to give them another path, which is wide open. They just have to choose to take it. And that's the path of negotiations. To get on that path, the leaders of Iran know exactly what they have to do. I mean, they have to suspend these uranium enrichment activities, and they have to come to the negotiating table, which is there. We're ready to start these negotiations. And in fact, what, the challenge for all of us, for all of us diplomats, and for all of us in the international community, is to convince the leadership of Iran that they're better off choosing that path, that if they want prestige, that the way to get prestige is to enter into these negotiations and respect their international obligations. If they want access to high technology, if they want access to civil nuclear energy, the best way to do it is to come to the negotiating table and take advantage of the technological and political offers that have put there. If they want regional security, the best way to do that is to come and to negotiate rather than confront the rest of the world. Warning that nuclear proliferation in the Middle East could lead to an arms race, Mr. Schultz said evidence of weaponization in Iran's nuclear program is causing concern. We need to be concerned because Iran continues to violate Security Council resolutions. We need to be concerned because Iran continues to pursue the technology to enrich uranium that it doesn't need for civil purposes but it needs if it wants to build a bomb. And in fact, the assessment of the U.S. intelligence community is that their pursuit of this uranium enrichment capability is, is in large part to develop the technologies to build nuclear weapons. Now, recently at the IAEA, we have heard briefings from the inspectors about concerns they have that Iran has actually engaged in activities related to weaponization. What does weaponization mean? Weaponization means taking something like highly enriched uranium that you could produce at a facility like Natanz or at a covert facility based on technology from Natanz and fashioning that into a nuclear weapon, putting around it the detonators you need, putting, around, putting it inside a reentry vehicle, making it so you can deliver it someplace. And the IEA has received, over a number of years from multiple sources, increasing amounts of indications that Iran has been engaged in weaponization activities. And this, in fact, is very consistent with our own intelligence assessment that until 2003, Iran was working on weapons design. Iran was working on weaponization activities. And these are activities that could easily be restarted and these are activities that could be restarted potentially without the knowledge of the IAEA. So in fact, today in Vienna, IAEA inspectors are very focused on understanding what exactly has Iran been doing in the weaponization area. Iran, of course, has said that these are baseless accusations, but the IAEA inspectors have told us they have no reason to believe these are baseless. They think the activities that they have seen are consistent with a nuclear weapons research and development program, and they think that these activities must be addressed. Emphasizing the need for a negotiated solution to the current standoff, Mr. Schultz warned further international sanctions could otherwise be imposed. The challenge for all of us in countries across the world is to convince Iran's leaders to abide by their international commitments to enter into negotiations rather than making grand announcements that only leave their country increasingly under suspicion and increasingly under sanction. Thank you.